today I'm going to show you a short tutorial to set up the Quanda and Xbox 360 wireless controller to work with Street Fighter V on PC. Yes, we've had quite a few requests asking how to do it and how we got it working for two players at once. So first of all, there is a few things we will need. Obviously, we're gonna need Joy to Key, which I'll put a little link in the description to where you can get that. The second thing we need is the Xbox 360 controlling emulator, which is the Toka Edit Xbox 360 controller emulator. You can download that from x360ce.com and I will give you the link in the description also. Once you have downloaded this, make sure you choose the right one for your 32-bit game or your 64-bit game. Now, Street Fighter is 64-bit, so you are happy to go with the 64-bit as long as your system is also 64-bit. To quickly check that, just go to your computer, right-click on Properties, and check that you are 64-bit compliant there on all your operating system. Easy enough, most new PCs are 64-bit. Now, let's move on to the quickly set up the Joy 2 key. So. I put up Joy to Key and you will see a couple of options. So what happens is Xbox Resisting controls your keyboard, basically doing the exact same moves that you'll be doing with the keyboard, so player one. Now player two, we set up the Quanda stick. So what we did, we turned it on and we matched each movement to each item like so. Obviously the attacks are whatever you like in the game. Now once that was set up, we just saved it and that's it. It's funny, but it seems to work this way. So I'm going to leave it at that. So we quit that, and now we're gonna have to navigate to our actual Steam library, where Street Fighter is installed. So if you find it, I've got it under Games, G, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and Street Fighter V. In here, we're gonna go to Street Fighter V again, it's second folder, so don't mess it up. And in here, we've got Binaries, Win64, and that is where you drop the files from the X360 underscore x64.exe. Once you've got these two files, boot that up. What you will see is you will see multiple controllers here, up to four apparently. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my Xbox 360 controller and you see what's gonna happen. It's gonna pop up X controller one. That's great and undandy. And what we're gonna go, we're gonna go to game controllers, make sure that's all working, properties. I'm gonna move the stick around, great, it's all good. You can also see here that it's moving. So that's perfect and save that. And then we're gonna go to controller settings. In controller settings, you're gonna find Street Fighter V.exe and you're gonna click save and then you're going to click on this most popular settings for my controller now here you will have something interesting you're gonna have users you're gonna have heaps of users for all these controllers now you you never know which one will work for you but what I noticed is as long as it's got this file name which is Street Fighter 5 here so I chose this one this B72A3276 which worked for me it might be different for yourselves but I would recommend trying it within the one that says your file name and the product title once that is done head over to game settings make sure that you can add the VE.exe if you haven't already, and also this emulator, which is the 360 emulator. What the emulator will be set at is the 32 bit, which is a bit different, but it seems to work. Again, just random settings. People have said that they haven't been able to get it working. Lastly, make sure you save. And that is it. Once that is set up, the Xbox controller will actually show up as a secondary controller. And then the Quanda stick has been mapped to your keyboard. So your player two is actually your controller and your Quanda stick is player one. It's a weird trick, it seems to work now, but again, because Street Fighter V is new, this might change over time. So good luck, have a go, let us know in the comments if it worked for you. If you didn't, then maybe we'll help you, maybe there's a step we missed. Let us know.